Texas Coastal Prairie used to span 9 million acres from Lafayette, Louisiana to Kingsville, Texas, and it occurred along the coast uh, in western uh, Louisiana down to, down to South Texas. And those 9 million acres of open grassland supported that water's prairie chicken. And there used to be millions of these birds. There's only less than 100 of these birds left in the wild and they're only found in Texas. Atwater's prairie chickens right now are not doing as well as they could be in the wild because of, of habitat degradation. The National Johnson Space Center has 1,500 acres of land. And of that 1,500 acres, about five to 600 acres are developed. So they have parking lots, labs, testing facilities on them. But a lot of that land, six, 700 acres of that land is undeveloped. So it has native coastal prairie, it has native Texas forests. What we're doing is we're paired with NASA. NASA has given us the space to have this facility, and Houston Zoo um, works with NASA to get these guys. Um, we have the birds down here, we bring staff down here, uh, NASA has lent us the land, and uh, we have a breeding colony of birds down here. Starting in April through the end of May is the breeding time for Atwater's Prairie Chickens. Um, the males uh, get uh, long feathers on the back of their heads, they get uh, little orange eyebrows, and they'll start to inflate these, these neck pouches. They do a really interesting breeding dance uh, where they stamp their feet, and uh, that's part of what will be happening in the wild. The partnership with the Houston Zoo and NASA has really helped us promote environmental awareness at JSC. We use it during some of our safety and health and environmental fairs. Um, we take tours, we gather people up and, and tour them through the prairie chicken area so they can see what a prairie chicken does. We talk a lot about how important habitat protection is. If we don't protect our prairies, we're going to lose these birds. Texas Coastal Prairie is an endangered ecosystem, and one of the reasons it's so valuable is because it's incredibly diverse. And we have uh, some pretty remote, remarkable species. We have green milkweed, which supports monarch butterflies. Uh, we have uh, Texas coneflower, which is a beautiful, really showy plant that's really popular with pollinators. We also have uh, wildflowers that you would traditionally associate with Texas. Helping this, this program, that this partnership, is extremely important because without it, these birds probably won't survive in the wild. When we talk about all these things that we think are stereotypically Texas, when we talk about longhorns, when we talk about blue bonnets, when we talk about cattle grazing, when we talk about even the Battle of San Jacinto, we're all talking about things that happen and occur on prairies. And the reality is, is if we don't do anything to conserve these areas, we won't see those in 10, 20, 30 years. And we'll lose a fundamental part of our own culture. We don't know what we're losing when we lose these habitats, um, this countless species. Um, and this is one of those species that's highly visible, um, and it's worth saving um, along with its habitat for that reason. Mm -hmm.